What's up guys, Darcizzle here from Darcizzle Offshore and I just landed my personal best giant black drum baby, also known as Big Ugly. I'm gonna show you exactly how to catch this black drum, where to catch them, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to clean them and cook them. Black drum, catch, clean, cook, starting now. What you got? Little, little smallest nook in town. All right guys. Nice Just got work. the smallest nook in the town. I'm hooked up. Woo, two people hooked up. Double up. Yay. All right, look at our beautiful light. Bites turning on. This morning we are at Stewart again. Woo! Oh, that's terrible. Brian! That's terrible. That's terrible. I got a little grunt. Nice. Nice. That would be great for bait for offshore. Alright, so let's look at it back in. And uh look how cool. Alright, he's a little baby how to get it back in. Look at my fish. Well, that's crazy. That's a nice little piece of bait compared to mine. Yes, it's bait. <laughs> Let him go. But uh, what's up, Dark Sizzle Nation? Good Pudding. morning. Dark Sizzle here. We're at the. Uh, Don't at make Stewart. fun of my crazy look. She has a Grungeon's jacket on, an HH jacket on, and another Grungeon's jacket on. Plus three layers under that. So a total of <laughs> six layers on top. Not joking. Taking it to you from Stuart Causeway. Yes. And uh, today we're, we're trying this bridge. We haven't never fished it before, really. Right? Yeah. And then we're going to try to catch some triple tails. And uh, what else, Sizzle? Yeah, whatever is on the structure and the pilings. And yeah, triple tail is definitely one of the target species as far as here. We can catch everything here. You know, black drum, redfish, snook, everything hangs out at the bridges. Theoretically. And this particular bridge is supposed to be loaded with fish. So we're, it, it, like Brian said, we're fishing a brand new spot today, trying new tactics. And we're just going to bounce around here at this bridge and see what kind of fish we can put in the boat. Yeah. So that was a nice double up. Yeah, it was awesome. Let's get back to fishing. Taking you along with us. Yes. Let's hit it. Let's go. <laughs> They got a fish on, it's a nice fish. Let's go sizzle. We'll see what it is. I don't know, it's fighting weird. It's fighting weird? Maybe with the black, your first black drum. It's, ooh, it's a croaker. A nice Giant croaker? croaker. Nice, we'll take it. We got dinner, baby. Look at these monster That's a monster hole. croaker. Heck yeah. I love that noise they make. It's so cool. All right, and you guys can see Darcy's just using but it's turning on. Winter time down here in Florida. You catch everything with just a shrimp and a jig. Now I found a croaker hole. All right, guys. We've got a beautiful light right now. We see that pretty fish. So pretty. It looks like a redfish. And these are great. These are so delicious. We have a great video from the beach, right, with Captain Paul. Yeah. And we also caught, I also caught a pretty big one in our home waters not too long ago. But this one definitely beats it now. You think so? Yeah. yeah it's All a beautiful right. related to the redfish. Get great snook bait when he's smaller. Yeah, and delicious. Yeah, also oh, good. All right, Sizzle. Oh, it's a nice fish. Yeah? Yes. I better, get the, I better get the net. You better catch that fish. Oh my goodness. Well, you, you, you basically got a bait rod there. Can't stop him. You are killing it right now, Sizzle. Oh, big drum, big drum. Big get drum. Get over here, baby. Yeah, baby. Whoa. Oh, beautiful fish. Stay hooked, stay hooked, baby. Come on. Oh man, come here, come here. Come here! Come here! That's 22. Oh, come on, baby. Nice fish. Come on, baby. Come on. I Dog's think my drag is not set these. very good. Stop, don't push that drag. Good girl. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you did it! Today was worth it! You did yeah, it! Yeah, buddy, just like that. Oh, okay. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, totally buddy, that is a stud right there. All day, at least 10 pounds, if not more. Look at that black drum, baby. I don't get to catch a lot of them. Today is already a freaking awesome, awesome day. <laughs> Look at this. You did it. On a half a shrimp, just uh, t sending back half a shrimp on a jig, bouncing it right off the bottom, and he just crushed it pretty close to the boat. He was hooked good. He wasn't going anywhere. No, he wasn't. Also known as Big Uglies. So she's been wanting to get one of these drums for like two years. I begged never... Brian to go fishing today and he wasn't about I it. I wanted to go to Boyden and get out trad traps and kind of take it easy. He went fishing hard the last two days, get him at 4 a.m. Look at my personal best black drum, baby. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Sick. You totally did it, Sizzle. Sick. You totally did it. Look at that fish. That is a beauty right there. Gorgeous, lit up black drum. Like I said, my biggest ones ever are usually very small, under six inches long. And that is a freaking beast. Yes. 
Did it. Did it. Nice job, Nice Sizzle. fish. Look at his whiskers right here, too, which is really cool. These whiskers, they sense the bottom with. So you can see those whiskers. And they got no teeth in here. If I can pop this now. No teeth in there, but it's all really rough. That's how they crush things with the back of their throats and stuff. But you can actually hear them making drum noises. I don't know if you'll be able to hear them. Oh, wow. You hear that? It's really cool. I just love the noises that all drum fish make. Come on. He was doing it before. Uh, yeah, we've been taking pictures. The He's croaker a was a little loud. <laughs> He's a little dead. Anyhow, I need to stop playing with this fish. Let's get back to fishing and let's see what else we can put in the boat. But great start to the day. Finally. Darcy's catching me dinner like it's a like it's her job. I guess it is her job. <laughs> <laughs> Darcy's job is to catch me dinner. I just made up this crap about putting it on YouTube. I'm the real genius. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a point out, guys. I'm gonna break up with my girlfriend again. Her own boat, catching her own fish. She doesn't need other people to put her on fish. If we go someplace else, that's fine, no problem. I understand you're in a different location, but. She gets the sheep's head, the muttons, you, you've seen it. It's a fish killing machine. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so proud. I try. He's only proud when the plan actually comes together. And then like, if he, he warned me last night, he said, if we don't catch any fish today, you're in big trouble. <laughs> I so, did say that. He said, if we do, you're a hero. So I'm a hero. Right. Like why we're here today is because, the, the, you know, in the winter here in down South Florida, there's a lot of fronts in and out. And we've gotten, we've learned a lesson. We get destroyed the day after a front. You don't want to fish, fish immediately after a front because of the change in temperature oh, and, That's uh, a nice fish. and everything else. And the, uh, the fish don't know what's going on. So you gotta, hopefully oh it's settled down a little bit. That's a really nice fish. Really nice fish. So you, really so nice you want fish. the boat to be a little stable. Really nice fish. I guess it's a really nice fish. Really nice fish. You want to drift back? No. There's a lot of current here. You drift back, you better. No. Oh my God, he's huge. All right, drift back. Drift him back. Wait, no, no, no. Turn off the, the spot lock. Looks like it's another drum. Probably is. Get ready. Oh, I'm ready. Get ready. Put the spot lock back on. He's close. No, I'm not doing it. Oh my God, I got another. She does have. She does have another. They're further back. Whoa, dude. <laughs> this is crazy. He might be bigger. Hooked. Stay hooked. No. He doesn't like that net. Get away from the bridge. You okay? Take it easy. Nice and relaxed. Whoa. Boom! <laughs> Sick! He's a lunker! Dude! That's a bigger one. What? Heck yes! That's what I'm talking about! Insane! That was insane. That was an insane fight. That fish pulled so hard. Man. Unreal. Brian was like, we gotta go after catching the last one. And I was like, let's just try it a little longer. So again, and now it's double hero, I guess you'd call. <laughs> I guess I guess you would call it. Man, right in the top of the corner. Look at that. Look at that. It wasn't going anywhere. A lot like these fish feed from the bottom, so when they get hooked, it just sets right in the upper lip there. And it was actually set pretty good. Really good. And he's actually got like he's locking down on me. But he's got like no teeth, but it was set right in his uh look right there, there you go set right up there nice. in the lip that he wasn't going in. Ooh, listen. Get him in your neck, yeah. Hold him up, I'll do it. Hear that? <laughs> so cool. It's a different tone than the croaker. It's literally a drum. <laughs> really cool. I love that sound. So hold on, so that's that sound. Let me see, I'm gonna listen, try and dubbing the croaker right next to this. Listen. We're making music. like a heartbeat. Here's exactly how I'm catching these black drums today, okay? So I got a shrimp right here, medium sized shrimp, no big deal. But what I like to do is not fish a whole shrimp. You can, of course, it's a totally up to you. A whole shrimp, you get a better presentation because they flip and stuff, but I just broke them in two live. 
Sorry, poor dude. And then uh, you take just a Mustad jig, simple jig right here. I think that's uh, 3 8 ounce. I'm not very, not 100% sure, but anyhow, uh, just using a size jig that matches with the current so it gets down. And all I do is just take the hook and run it right through that part I just broke off. And then I come up through the horn on his head here, just like so. Then run that through, push the jig in, and now that jig is completely hidden inside that fit, inside that shrimp, and it can drift back naturally. And now that it's broken off too, there's a scent in the water. We got tied on with a loop knot. I like to use that when I'm fishing jigs. And this is a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, approximately four or five feet long. And then that is attached to my main line, which is 20 pound braid. And I've just got a standard Elite Series Tsunami uh, rod here, paired with an SR6 from Accurate, a little spin, spinning reel, and it's a perfect little setup. And that's how I caught both those drums. And that last drum, by the way, is a pound heavier than that last one, so 10 pounds. All right, let's get him another one. Nice job, Justin. So I was just mentioning, I was using a, I've been using a whole shrimp hooked like through the head a little bit, uh, like a lot of guys do, so the tail really wigs and they stay alive, but all I would do is getting stoned, I didn't catch one, didn't catch any fish. I caught a baby snook you saw in the beginning. And uh, she catches every fish in the world like that. She's, ca she's caught big tarpon, every snook, every sheep's head, ev everything. So. I don't know, whatever she's doing works, as you can, <laughs> as you can see. And the setup is pretty light, you know, and the, and the leader is super light for you guys, really fishing drums. But, uh, you know, you got to do what's appropriate for the bite, the depth, the current, and all that stuff. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh. Get him up. Want to go back? No. I think, you should, I think you should go back. Oh, my God, it's another one. Unreal, y'all. This bite's unreal. On light tackle, it's so much fun. Woo! Big flash. Here it comes. When that fish goes low, you gotta go low too. Let me get behind you. Woo! I did it again! <laughs> what? Unbelievable. Stud you are killing it. Black drum after stud black drum. Sick, guys. This is so sick. <laughs> 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 Woohoo! Hell yeah. <laughs> um, but anyhow, once again, you can see that jig right in the. Oh, he got hooked good that time. Right in that upper jaw all the time. That's just how they eat. They eat right off the bottom. So this jig is getting right to the bottom. And I'm just bound. Ooh, there he goes. Thumping. Drumming. And that's exactly why they're called the black drum, by the way, because of this drumming noise they make. And she literally caught that a minute after we did, after we showed you how to do the shrimp, yeah. like a minute. All right, guys, we are back at the house with our beautiful black drum. This is actually the smallest of the three fish that I ended up catching. And just so you guys know, there he is. And just so you guys know, this guy was a total of 23 inches long, which is a keeper, and you're allowed to keep one over 24 inches long. And I could have kept those other two fish, but honestly, I just released them, they're nice big breeder fish. And again, this one is plenty enough meat for both pudding and I. So let's just dive right into this. I got a few knife selections out here today. We got an eight inch bony knife, a nine inch fillet, and a seven inch fillet from Smith. And I think I'm gonna, well, we're gonna start with this one. So I'm gonna be for, uh, straight up honest with you guys. I have never filleted a black drum in my life, believe it or not. And we don't catch a lot of them in our home waters. So it was a really epic trip. Can't wait to go catch some more. So like any fish I would ever do, and just like I told you, I've never filleted one, so we're just gonna dive right into this. Very similar to a red drum, or red fish, which I've caught in the past, and I'm just going underneath those scales so we don't dull our blade. And we're gonna go up at a 45 degree angle and get as much of that head meat as we always can. I know a lot of you guys like to focus on that head meat, make sure we get it all. So with these fish, they're pretty hardy, and like this whole head area is just very hard. So I went up as far as I could. I think I did pretty good there. Just make sure that's a clean cut. All right, and then we're just gonna turn that knife right back around and wait till you see some of these scales coming off. I know the bigger they get, I actually said on video, forget what size I said they get to, but they actually get to over 100 pounds. It's insane. And I'm left-handed, so I do these things backwards than you guys are used to. Now we're just gonna follow that backbone all the way down. Just like that. Get to the tail portion, which is what I like to do is I like to go through, knock that out. Now we're just gonna follow that backbone down and we're gonna see the structure of this fish. And just like any other fish I would fillet, you know, I'm doing this the same way. Just kind of feel with your blade and this takes some practice. 
Ooh, look at that meat. Wow, this is gonna be good. I'm so excited. Now I'm going angling back down underneath his spine bone. See those scales right there? Just insanely thick, thick scales. So you're gonna need a sharp knife in order to get this done correctly. Going down where the pin bones are up here by the head, break through those. And I like to really keep the rib cage bones intact. You can cut through them if you like. All right, here we go. There's the first side of that beautiful black drum. Not bad, and I honestly think I got every piece of head meat. That is just hard as a rock up here. So I went up as far as I possibly could on that fish. So let me know, drop a comment down below if you think I did a good, good job on my first black drum ever, big ugly. And looking at this meat so far, I don't see a worm in sight. I know a lot of you guys say there's worms, but we are gonna keep this guy actually on the half shell. So I am not gonna know if he has more worms in there until we eat him. But worms are good for you. They grow hair on your chest, as my dad would say. <laughs> so and right here are pin bones. And what I could do is I just can go in like so, kind of knock those out. We're gonna cook this guy, like I said, on the half shell, leaving the skin on the back on. And I can kind of go in here and then just angle my knife to the side, and knock it out. Probably my smaller knife would be good for this. There's a little piece of pin bones. And that filet is ready. Delicious. Look at that white meat, looks translucent, really pretty. And again, I don't see any worms. I don't know if they, they uh, go on the front or the back side of this fish. But anyhow, that is gonna be amazing. And so we're gonna go ahead and finish up the other side of this beautiful fish. And the rest of the carcass will be used for my stone crab traps to get more of these beautiful stone crab claws to make pendants for you guys. This is on the website, available for purchase, jumbo size, as well as awesome sterling silver necklaces and stuff. And there'll be a link in the below for the coupon code on these knives and sharpeners I love to use. And uh, this is my favorite diamond sharpener. So we're gonna get it all ready to go and finish up the other side of this fish. And I'll meet you guys in the house for the cooking we're putting portion of this video. All right, what's up guys? Thanks to our sizzle for flaying up that uh, fish. Flaying up, I guess it's a flay, right? Or on a half shell. Put it right on the counter here on the granite. And welcome guys again to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. I hope I did that the right way. I always mess it up. And I'm just gonna, I just put it right on the counter. I was watching a cooking show the other day, you know, because you guys might not believe this, but I am not a trained chef. I, uh, I'm just learning just like everybody else is and just like Darcy's just learning and you know, we don't claim to be experts, but I saw someone, they said, I cleaned my granite, so they just put the food right on the granite. And that really got my brain going. So I'm trying it out. You guys tell me if that's a good idea or not. Uh, why clean a cutting board? I don't know. We're trying to know something new. So I'm gonna do this nice and simple. I'm gonna just coat it. I'm gonna put it on the barbecue, a half shell on the barbecue. I put, or we put a post on Facebook of how to cook this is like how we usually do. So follow Darcy on the Facebook and the Instagram and the Twitter. And you're gonna get some extra interactions there. Maybe help us out with some of these videos. And a lot of guys said, just do it like redfish uh, on a half shell. A lot of guys said fry it and some other things and, and that's all great. And a ton of people just were, you know, kind of being negative, like, oh, it's full of worms and throw it out and, you know, that's not a huge turn off for me, you know? And this fish was about 24 inches. Uh, and so, you know, it's not that big. You know, maybe, you know, I'm such a great photographer, maybe it looked huge in the picture. And Darcy has the straightest arms in the history of fishing, but whatever. Anyway, there wasn't a single worm in it. And we also filleted the other side with the skin off and there was not a single worm on either side or nothing, all right? And so I'm just gonna put that oil on there and then some salt and pepper. And then we're just gonna put it right on the barbecue. So we'll, we'll see it at the barbecue in about three seconds. All right, here we go. You gotta be a little quiet because you know about my treasure neighbors and they're nice dogs. So I got the barbecue on. Oh, I got it on way too high. I'm gonna put it down to medium heat. And I'm just gonna slap this on here. Perfect. Now, typically, you know, you guys see me do, I put tomatoes on here and lemon a lot for an acid. And again, I've been learning a little bit and I guess acid, and you apply heat to acid a lot of times, it will really diminish the flavor. So I'm gonna put some lemon on it at the end, all right? That's gonna take 10 minutes an inch, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, it's been about 10 or 15 minutes. It's actually checked it like twice. It took quite a bit. I actually put some tomato, not some tomato, but some butter on there. And now I'm gonna put the lemon on. Hopefully I don't start too big of a fire. So a little, I love to use these things. And we're all set. Oh, 
All right, we'll see you inside for the big taste test. All right, Josh Sizzle, let's see how it tastes. Time to eat my black drum. Mm hmm I actually haven't tried any yet. I'm sorry, it's delicious, it tastes like redfish. All you people calling it bait and had worms in it. I mean, no, it's delicious. Again, that, that was one? very good. I actually, right there, I just took a piece of the top of the head and I cut a little bit into some bone right there. So I just had some bone I needed to spit out. But besides <laughs> that, it's very, very good. No complaints. And again, no worms, like you said. We're, we, I was kind of shocked after everybody telling me online that they're just full of them. But yeah. now I, we know. I think the distinction is the, the big ones, are like most fish, like, and again, a lot of fish have worms. Grouper, wahoo. All kinds of jacks are known for worms, but so what? You either pick them out or you eat them. Who cares? Sea trout has worms. Sea trout. Yeah. But like I said, <laughs> you can't eat the worms. You literally just cook them and they'll put hair on your chest. <laughs> that's, the, that's the Ariel way. Yes. There you go. So uh, at, at the end, we're, uh, so as usual, talk about our sponsors really quick. Uh, everything is always in the description, guys, to find wherever we use uh, in the video. So. The, uh, the knives, the code's in the, in the description, 15% off. Darcy's necklaces and all her gear and merch and shirts and apparel and 8x10s and calendars. Calendars are on sale right now. Uh, description below and uh, all that great stuff. Yeah. So check that all the time and thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I definitely had a lot of fun making it and can't wait to go do it again and catch some more new fish and put them on my boat. And it's just so <laughs> rewarding. It's very rewarding. and. Uh, you know, the time and effort goes into it and the plan that comes together, it just it just makes it that much more rewarding and icing on the cake and yeah. So we now we re reap the benefits and now hopefully we'll catch some stone crab claws with his carcass. So yeah. let's circle of life. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. We love you. Until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep, and keep on, on catching. catching. I don't even have a sip yet. Cause you're lame. <laughs>